All right, guys. So I am recording this vlog for those that are trying to play around with plungers. Um, there are numerous, numerous plungers on the market. And there's definitely, in my opinion, three that stand out amongst the rest. Um, these plungers are in no particular order. It's just a matter of what I see most often what I use for most of my shooters, including myself. Um, there's a couple of things that are cool about all of them, and you should definitely consider um, checking them out. My first plunger, go-to plunger, is the good old biter. This one's pretty beat up. You can see that this has been used pretty hard. This is the first plunger uh, that I, this is actually the plunger that I was using while shooting Olympic recurve about four or five years ago. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's decent. It's, it's a good plunger um, that they're, they're like the OG of plungers per se. Um, biter plungers have been around just forever. Um, comes with three different springs for your plunger itself. Um, you have your micro adjust, numbered micro adjust here, um, locking mechanism that comes with a little tool. And then you have um, an Allen key that goes into that set screw right there, um, which is nice. I mean, it, it does what it does. It, it's a little, I guess the only, my only qualm, I guess, about the biter is, you know, the wrenches that you use for loosening this nut, because as you can see, that nut has um, a, fits a special wrench, and they're just a plastic wrench that I don't have here with me at the moment. Um, they come with every single one. It's a little bit of a pain moving them in and out, setting your center shot uh, accordingly to your riser, but it works. And like I said comes with three different um, plunger settings and uh, springs. And, you know, it, they're super easy to change out. You know, you just screw off the, bar off the barrel to, to the backside here, like so. And there we are. You have the piece that holds the spring in place that goes inside here and side this bad the end the barrel end that has your numbers on it and then your spring is inside like so like so and like i said it comes with three different springs you can play around with that you know and, and i mean it, like i said it's a it's definitely a great thing the only thing that you know sort of does become a little bit of a pain is its metric for us over here in America. Um, and not only that, you need the screwdriver to tighten this if you choose to tighten it down or just make it snug so that you can still move it freely. Um, and it takes a different Allen wrench size here. Comes with multiple buttons and everything else, but you know, this is like, you know, the fail safe, everybody has them. Um, they're not there. This is one of the purchases also that for people who are getting started in the sport, this is one of the things that I buy high end right from the beginning um, or recommend for people who are like really serious and think they're going to continue through sh shooting um, bare bow, get a good plunger right away uh, because number one, you could always resell it. People always look for, for um, plungers, whether they're buying it for a backup or whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, you're just, you just never go wrong with having one. It'll last you for a very long time. Number two, um, plunger this is not one that I use. Um, I might play around with it a little bit, but this is one of your magnetic ones. And that is the Whiffler Industries MP1 comes in a kind of a cool little package again comes with a wrench that comes as part of the package um you know and and you know alex whiffler had he did a good job with this plunger it is really cool um big old nut on here that moves 
Um, and then what's neat about it is instead of having to use like a screwdriver like you would on that one, um, it's you have a locking nut mechanism deal on the end. I think it's awesome. Um, love that part. But this one's magnetic and which is pretty neat, you know, so you change your adjustment um, basically just by moving your barrel out, you know, gets softer as you move it out, just like this, has a ton of micro clicks on it, looks like it's got 20. Twenty little clicks on there, you can see that bad boy. And it gets softer as you, you know, move out away from the magnet that's on the inside here. Pretty neat, pretty simple. Um, probably super, super fail safe when it comes to, um, you know, braking and stuff like that. It's made pretty solid. I, I do love the locking mechanism for this. Do kind of wish that this this was a little bit longer, the, um, the barrel um but you know like i said it it does the job it's um it's pretty sweet pretty sweet little little plunger here um for sure then my go-to um is the aae uh gold premier xl the longer barrel version um this has does this does have um knock or uh set screws in it, as you can see right here. Um, but what's cool about that is it's the same size. It's American standard size, and it's super easy to move. This has 10 clicks or 11 clicks on it around the barrel. And you can see it's got markings on there that you can see where you're basically, you can document um where your tune would be and you can move that then in and out and it has a ball bearing on the end of this um actually i have that locked down oh no there it is yeah it's clicking so it's it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty cool thing the other thing that i like about this is these others you need wrenches to move your center shot and on the gold premiere there's a rubber washer and this can be just hand tight so when you go all you do is loosen this up make a change tighten the nut tighten the set screw and then you can just finger tight it down and it doesn't move ever i mean it is so simple again comes with multiple springs um three springs and um you can you know use whatever spring will fit in there basically um, and it really does the job of what you need it to do as far as multiple adjustability. Um, and it goes well with, I'm going to go over to my two, my two favorite rests here as well. Um, but this AE plunger, um, yes, shameless plug. They are a sponsor of the Burbo project. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's one of those things where. When you talk to people about sponsorships, you talk to people who have products that you really, really like. This is one of those products that I really, really like. Um, and it comes in a nice big old case and you get all kinds of goodies in there um, that come with it. So like this thing is a boss and it's fail safe. I love it. I have never had an issue with it. And I just love the adjustability of it and the way that you can really document where your tune is or where you want it to be. Um, so check those out. So next, rests. My go-to is the AA free flight. Again, there's some obvious reasons there, um, but I will tell you that in my personal opinion, um, the reason I love this rest so much is because it's built so well. Um, it's, it's a little be it's, it's beefy. I, I do, I do wish that this was a little bit narrower, but I mean, when you have that long barrel on the, on the gold premiere, it doesn't matter. Um, and what, what's nice about it is again, same screw, same wrench for both of the, uh, the screws. 
this magnet can actually be flipped around and this can be treated as a drop away rest. It's a pretty cool little thing. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's, it's, uh, it's neat. And you'll notice that I don't have the standard bend of a, um, a straight bar wire. This is, um, this is an AA wire, but um, kudos to John Demmer. That's actually his, this was his idea. He came up with this bend idea and it just helps promote with clearance because of how far down this sits and then comes up and boom, just sits that little tiny edge sits like this on the plunger. So, you know, what it looks like there is something like that. Great combination. Um, you know, you have this, the, what's nice about this is you also, you can fit in your blocking nut along with your plunger. And just, you know, it, it does, it does a lot of things, but it's kind of the, what's cool about this rest. And again, this is one of the biggest reasons that I, that I like this rest is that not only can you adjust this, um, this is so much easier to move up and down than the ZT. Um, you can flop this magnet around and literally have one rest that could act as a drop away or as a standard recurve rest. Then, Choice number two, good old Spig ZT. Um, I use this rest for my first two years. Um, it's it's a good rest. It is definitely a good rest. I will say that I am a fan of using things that have less going on. Um, that means less screws, less sized Allen wrenches. Um, it's just less to be lost, less to mess with, stuff like that. This rest also um, caused me uh, uh, an equipment failure, but it was because these screws kept backing out on me. Um, it, I don't know if it's just over time, it's a vibration thing, um, but you know, and there's ways to, to work around that and fix that, but it's, it's one of those things that you can, you have to play around with it and get used to using it, try to get it set. And then once it's set, remind yourself or go back in, and um, tighten everything up, make sure it's where you need it to be before a tournament. Um, it's got a lot of adjustability to it. It definitely does. And I think the same wire bend would work on, on this ZT, just like on the, the free flight, the AAE. Um, but, um, you know, it's definitely lighter weight. Uh, it's got a thinner bar, which I do like. And, you know, this is, a, this is an Italian, so... You know, Spig makes awesome stuff. They've been around Barebow for a long time. This is the job. Uh, as far as a wired rest, again, you can do drop away version as well as, um, you know, standard rest version, which is the way this one's currently set up. You can do only the standard version with the wire on, on this one, you know. And then I guess, and I don't have one in front of me. I think if I had to pick a third one, it would be the uh, instead sniper arrow rest. Um, do not have one in front of me. Um, there's a lot of, there's a really good point on archery um, has a great review of this rest um, right here. I, I mean, they're nice. Um, they, they do work. They work well, uh, played around with them. I shoot a pretty heavy arrow and have a long draw length. And I just felt like I had too many inconsistencies with it. Um, it certainly works and the 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 um the way that that wire is presented with that plunger coming through is very similar to the way that we bend the wire for the a free flight so you know uh, definitely you know look at it and consider you know what your options are like i said shooting in a heavy arrow I just seem to have too many inconsistencies with it. It probably would work well um, shooting like 50 meter, the outdoor game. Um, I, I just, you know, I would be worried about like wind blowing the arrow around and then setting that, uh, setting that rest off. And I, I just, I don't know. I guess there's something about the, the rest that sort of gave me some red flags. I don't like, I just don't like the variables with it, but I do know that, for me, that's for me. Um, but I, I do know that people use them, they use them and have success with them. And, um, you know, for 99 bucks, that's, that's really not too bad. 
um, at all. Again, this is Lancaster Archery's website. Um, the, and the other, another good one is this big uh, MAP um, barebell rest or, or recurve rest. Uh, I know a few people that use this. Um, same setup with the screws as this, the ZT, um, but it's got some adjustability to it, which is really, really cool the way that they have that's the uh, set screw there. Um, definitely a, a cool rest. Um, never used one. I think Grayson uses one of those actually. Um, you know, and then here just as we peruse uh, um, the Lancaster Archery website, you have, let's go, here's your free flight arrow rest, the left hand one, you know, and you can see here's the, the actual bend that AA sends, um, hoping they start to make those pre-bent ones. Um, but you know, it's just a well, it's a well-built, well-organized piece of equipment. And then here's your ZT, um, which is the first rest that I used. And certainly you can use, you know, the standard stick on rest and stuff like that. But you know, these just a little bit more fail safe, in my opinion. This has that little bit of a bend similar to what we started doing with that's a little bit more drastic on the AE free flight, but um, this is a ZT and that those screws there, that top screw for me backed out on me. Um, and I didn't know it and then had gone and loosened um, the nut that's in the middle there. You can't see it, but um, and I actually had my the, the whole the whole thing just went straight down. But because the other one came loose, too. Um, but again, those are all great options and it depends on what you wanna spend. 34.99 is a pretty good deal on, uh, on a rest, you know, and that they just, you gotta, you gotta pick your, gotta pick your poison um, and what level of consistency you want and, you know, what game you wanna play. Um, that's about it. When it comes to plungers and rests, those are my go-tos. Those are the things that I use most often. Um, played around with, with a couple things and heck, even the Hoyt Super Rest. Um, but when it comes to trying to find um, consistency, um, ease of using with tools, ease of use using in general, and just having something that's solid and doesn't move and you have to carry less junk, um, those two are definitely my go-to. Hope this helps somebody trying to get into uh, Barebow and, and looking to buy some, some higher end stuff. Go check it out. Um, Whiffler Industries, Arizona Archery Enterprises, and uh, Biter Archery uh, for plungers. Uh, Spigarelli, um, Sniper, Dropaway. And again, Arizona Enterprises for the free flight. Thanks for watching.